So to get my roof plasti dipped, I got quite a few different things. First thing, of course, is the matte black plasti dip. I got 10 cans of this because the more the merrier. I may not use all of them, but it's better than me having to run back to the store. In addition to that, I got four cans of plasti dip glossifier. I picked it up at Lowe's. They don't sell it in store at Home Depot. There's some other stores that carry it as well. Of course, I also have the respirator mask, painter's tape, and I got these amazing drop cloths that are 9 by 12 at the uh, Dollar Tree, which is pretty cool. Other than that, we will get started with Plasti Dip in my roof. First things first, like we said, preparing the surface. Okay, so now I finish prepping my car. As you can see, I didn't cover everything. I did use newspaper. As a Plasti Dipper, it's always good to have newspaper handy because I used it for the sunroof. No point to waste the Plasti Dip on that. I did leave a space here though because it is good to have as a little barrier so you have something to peel from. Um, on the side here, what I did was I just took tape and I carefully went along the edge as best as I could to keep a straight line. And I'll show you how to take that off later. As for the windshield, we left a space here as well because we don't need to um, go all the way up to the line because we want the Plasti Dip to fit right in there also. For the back here, I didn't do anything for the antenna. I should be able to peel just around it. And the same thing for the back windshield. Um, we left a space here just so we can do that also. 